hello so today's video if you couldn't tell from this is going to be my Penemathon TBR so Penemathon is a Hunger Games inspired readathon which was created by Robbie Overer and his nose stuck in a book I will leave his link down below um so basically you become a tribute for a district you can choose a district or you can allow Robbie to choose for you um like if you're not too fussed about which district I will be representing district seven Joanna um so yeah um district seven is lumber hence the color <laughs> let's go for a very uh natural color um so the way it works is you read books based off prompts and you what is going on with my hair today um you read books based off prompts as most readathons are and you earn points for your district so these aren't for prompts these are for the read-alongs but we'll be reading the hunger games books um, also, there will be a read along for The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, which I don't own a physical copy of, but I will be reading it digitally. Oh, I said that word right. <laughs> um, so basically, the way the points works on a rough basis is for each book you read, however many pages there are in the book, you get that many points for your district. So, for example, if a book is 400 pages, then that's 400 points. I'm not going to go into massive detail about the point system, um, but if you want to know more about it, then you can head on over to Robbie's channel and it's all in his announcement video. But there's bonus points. So as well as the page count for these, you get 100 extra for each of the books you read but if you read all three you get another bonus 500 and if you read the ballad of songbirds and snakes you also get a bonus 500 so it's been years since i reread these and i'm really excited to read them again like i think i've read them two or three times in the past and it's time to go back it's time to go and I'm excited. I also dug out my DVDs earlier. And I'm really tempted to just rewatch the films because it's been about two years since the last... No, it can't be that long. I think it's been about two years since I last saw the films. Anyway, I'm getting distracted. So I am going to go through the books I am reading. I am going to be very ambitious and try and read a book for every single prompt. For every single district as well as reading the hunger games books like the original trilogy and the new prequel why do i do this to myself <laughs> but what i'm going to do i'm going to start off with the when when i'm actually reading next month i'm going to start off with my district's book because that's the one i can get bonus points for because i am reading the book that robbie has picked so i get double points Mm, which makes me happy it's also a book that i got last month and i'm obsessed with so even better so i'm gonna go through the prompts and tell you which book i've picked for each prompt and i because i'm extra i've written them all out and everything um, and i've even written down how many pages each of the books is so that i am prepared so District one, the prompt is read a five star prediction. I have chosen What Magic Is This by Holly Bourne. I don't think I've ever given a Holly Bourne book less than five stars. So it's quite safe to say that a Holly Bourne book is gonna be five stars and I haven't read this one yet and I'm really excited too. It's quite a short one. It's less than 200 pages. So hopefully I'll get through it, through it quite quickly. Um, but yeah, so this is going to be my prompt for District 1. Not prompt, book. It's going to be my book for District 1. So, for District 2, the prompt is read a book with a weapon or armour or shield on the cover. These aren't the exact wordings of the prompts, by the way. I just um, 
paraphrased but it's still the same prompt so it's fine so yeah district two is read a book with a weapon armor or shield on the cover i have chosen the shadows between us by Trisha Levenzella. Obviously, massive sword right on the cover there. Don't really need to explain it any more than that. Um, if if you have seen the video I posted the other day, you will see I'm also taking part in a another readathon in June, and you will see a couple of the books have crossed over because I can't read that many. Um, this in itself is a bit of a task, so I tried to crossover prompts between the two readathons without doubling up on one readathon because the rules of both those readathons is that you cannot double up on prompts so I couldn't I couldn't read this for district two and five for example like so yeah district two the district three prompt is read a science fiction book there was no competition with this I got this in the post like three weeks ago and I'm ready to have my heart ripped out again because I have chosen Aurora Burning by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff and I'm I'm really really not ready to have my heart ripped open again but that's what's happening. So for District 4 the prompt is a reader book set by sea on the sea or under the sea. I didn't even have to think about what book I was going to choose for this prompt. It was automatically Venom by Bex Hogan. I read Viper last year and holy moly, it was one of my favourite books of last year and I have been waiting for this and I have seen people talking about this. Not spoilery, but I know this is going to rip my heart out. So I don't think I'm going to read this straight after Aurora, straight after or before Aurora Burning because I'll, I'll just die of heartache. <laughs> But I'm really excited to read this and I'm actually going to buddy read this one with my mum because she has been waiting patiently for me so that we can read it together. So we're going to buddy read it. OK, so the District 5 prompt is read an ebook or audio book or because obviously not everyone can read those formats. Um, there is the option to just read a book only at night. However... I have ebooks, I have audiobooks, so I'm going to go with an ebook copy of The Strange World's Travel Agency by L.D. Lipinski. Um, obviously, I don't have it's on my Kindle, so I don't have a physical copy. So you will notice on the picture there are books like this. This will represent an audiobook or an ebook because obviously I'll be listening to the audiobook of Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. So. The District 6 prompt is read a book set outside my country or outside our world. Um, by this point, I was a bit like, mm, I don't know what book to read that's set outside my country. And then I was like, mm, I could basically read any fantasy because it's set outside our world. <laughs> so I have chosen A Queen in Hiding by Sarah Kozloff. Obviously, this is not set in England. This is set in the Nine Realms. Um, so this was a really good option for me. And it's a floppy paperback, which I said in my other readathon video as well. Uh, so for District 7, the district I will be volunteering as tribute for. The prompt is read a book set in nature or that features nature on the cover. So Robbie basically picked each district host they picked their group book which obviously you get double points if you read that as your district's prompt like your district's book um and you so you get double points on that but they also offered four alternatives which you don't get double bonus points but you you get um you do still get bonus points however the group book that Robbie did pick is one that I was hoping I could get into this readathon, so it worked out perfectly. And that is Bone Cryer's Moon by Catherine Purdy. I, if if you haven't heard about this book, then I don't know where you've been. Like everyone on Book Twitter and BookTube is talking about this. I am so excited to read it. I've actually got the Fairy Loot edition. I do also have the Lit Joy edition, but I'm gonna read the Fairy Loot edition. And I'm really excited to read this. It, the, the, 
the cover is stunning and the book sounds incredible and I am super excited. The prompt for District 8 is read a book with more than three colours on the cover. So I have gone for Rumble Star by Abby Elphinstone. As you can see, it's got green, it's got brown, it's got um, goldy yellow, it's got red, it's got more than three colours on the cover. Plus, it's a really easy middle grade, <laughs> which I've been wanting to get you for a while. So for District 9, it is read a book that begins with the letter G. I don't know what happened with this prompt. I found this one so hard. Like, I literally spent so long looking at all of my books and like, what begins with G? Like, and the thing is, I wanted to read one that I wanted to pick one that I haven't read before. So that was even harder. So every time I saw a book that begins with G, I was like, mm, I have read that. So I cannot pick that for this prompt. However, I realised at the bottom of my bookcase that's like there, which I can't properly see, I noticed Gobelino the Witch's Cat by Ursula Marie Williams. This, oh, so basically when I was a child, I had these books called Storytellers. Please comment below if you know what I'm talking about when I say Storytellers, because I actually still have all four volumes that I had when I was a kid. They were actually my brother and sisters, but as they got older and I was a baby, I got them <laughs> and I still have them and I refuse to get rid of them. They are amazing. And basically the storytellers have like loads of short stories and there was like a few short stories of this, but it was never the complete book. It was just short stories. So when, um, when I saw this 75, 75th anniversary edition in Waterstones I was like oh I need to get that and my boyfriend lovingly bought this for me because he could see he could see literal heart eyes so he bought this for me so this is going to be my pick for district nine <laughs> for district 10 the prompt is read a book with an animal main character or an animal as the main feature on the cover so I had an idea of what I wanted to do for this and then I realised I don't actually have it. I don't own it and I was, I wanted to try and put only books I own on this because I don't need to be adding to my TBR before I've taken stuff off. So I stuck with one that I already have which is An Enchantment of Ravens by Margaret Robinson. Um, I am really excited to read this. I was gifted this and... I am really excited. I've, I really loved her other book, Sorcerer of Thorns. It's one of my favourite books this year. So I'm really excited to get to this. Plus this has Faye in it, which if you know me, you know that Faye is everything to me. <sighs> everything. We're nearing the end. What is my fringe doing? Okay. So the District 11 prompt is read a book that showcases a strong sense of friendship. For this one, it was it was a little bit hard for me because I was like, well, I'm not going to necessarily know if a book has a strong sense of friendship in it. Um, so I went with a sequel. It's actually book three in a series. And that is Blue Lily, Lily Blue by Maggie Stafeter. I don't know how to pronounce the name. But you know, everyone who knows what this book is. This is the third book in the Raven Boys and I'm really excited to get back to this. Um, I've loved the first two books and yeah, so I'm excited to get back into this series. And the final district, District 12, the home of Katniss and Peter and Gail, but Katniss. We have read a book that has the word fire in the title or displays fire or flames on the cover. This one was a no-brainer for me. It's a sequel. I read the first book this month and oh it was amazing. So there was no doubt that I would have to put Fireblood by Ellie Blake for this prompt. Also double whammy because not only does it have the word fire but it has fire on the cover. So unfortunately I don't get double points for that but I like to think that it's it's a double whammy. I you know 
it's good so i'm really excited to read this i absolutely loved frostblood i read it this month for my raw readathon and oh, i'm just so excited i managed to get this on a prompt because i don't want to wait for the rest of the series so yes this is my district 12 book so that was my tbr for panemathon i am so unbelievably if i could get my words out i am so unbelievably excited for this it's such a really well put together readathon and i'm really really excited and i'm really glad i've managed to get some books on there which i've had for a while so like fireblood blue lily lily blue gobelino i've had these books all of these books on my shelf for like over two years so i'm really glad that i am uh beating the backlist a little bit as well as filling prompts so yeah um i'm gonna need a lot of luck to actually get through this whole <laughs> readathon yeah it's, it's gonna be an interesting june luckily it's really weird to say this but luckily I am still furloughed at the moment, so I don't have anything else to do with my time but read. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to be doing in June, <laughs> reading. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, give it a thumbs up if you did. Hit the subscribe button. And let me know in the comments if you are also joining in on Panemathon. Let me know which district you are. And... I will have a look at your TBRs and be nosy because I like looking at other people's TBRs. Um, so yeah, that was my penemthon and I will see you next time. Bye.